I am very pleased today to have with me a representative of Smash Broadcasting in the person of uh, Mr. Jermaine Rudd and to have as well a representative of the Caribbean Communications Company Limited, uh, better known as the Caribbean Superstation. We used to know the company as uh, Gem Radio in the person of Wayne LeBlanc. And the purpose of their visit here to Antigua in the case of Mr. LeBlanc and in the case of Mr. Rudd to the gate facility is to present a radio broadcast license to these two outfits. Prior to the 2004 UPP government taking power in this country, the previous administration had a totalitarian approach to the issue of freedom of the press in this country. One does not need to be reminded that the then government controlled the state-owned ABS radio and the television, the government information service, as well as ZDK Radio and Sun FM. There were few, if any, opportunities for people to express their voice, whether it was in the newspaper or on radio, whether it was pro-government or anti-government. All of that changed in 2004 when the administration of the Honorable Baldwin Spencer came into office. Since my appointment as Minister of State in the office of the Prime Minister, with responsibility in the first instance for information, broadcasting, telecommunication, science and technology, and subsequently and more recently with responsibility for telecommunication, science, technology and special projects, the landscape has changed dramatically. We have had a very open house, open approach concept to the issue of radio broadcast licensing, as it has been with the licensing of cable networks. It is under this administration that Carib Cable, now operated by Columbus Communications and Flow, became a reality. The days of monopoly approaches are over and the issuance of licenses is testament to that. The government has licensed in the radio area denominations, churches, different outfits. And I'm very pleased that today we are in a position pursuant to the decision of the cabinet of Antigua and Barbuda to grant these radio broadcast licenses. I want to state we have also granted several internet service provider or ISP licenses. We have been an open and tolerant government in keeping with our people first philosophy. And I have been very pleased to have been the minister working with the Honorable Prime Minister to rapidly expand the media landscape in all its forms. In 2004, Internet penetration in Antigua was 8%. In 2014, a decade later, it is in excess of 88%. The Internet and access to the Internet give people a voice, give people an opportunity to develop themselves and in recent times to behave and operate and comment, as it were, as citizen journalists. So we have also granted radio station broadcast licenses for interests who want to broadcast programs that relate to medical education. We have also granted licenses to the Spanish community to reach out to the Spanish speaking individuals in Antigua and Barbuda. And of course, in the case of Gem Radio, now known as the Caribbean Superstation, I believe they have been transmitting from Montserrat into Antigua since 1996. And it's been a long journey. And after a number of discussions, we have decided to grant a license to the Caribbean Communications Company Limited. And I want to state publicly, they have an impressive programming content and huge listenership in the Caribbean. 
and it is a pleasure for Antigua and Barbuda to be a host for their transmitter that will transmit on their assigned frequency of 93.9 into Antigua. In the case of Smash Broadcasting, group of young Antiguans, Coyote Ahmad, Mr. Jermaine Rudd, and Nigel Scotland have asked that the government consider a license for a FM product that is catering to a particular niche market. And we have seen it fit and appropriate to also award a license to them and their company, Smash Broadcasting Limited. I take it they're gonna smash up the airwaves with good music, good cultural content. I'm also pleased that today, Gem Radio or the Caribbean Superstation is doing a reach out into Antigua at a social level. We welcome them to Antigua. We welcome the famous JGP and Miss Stacy Lyons and of course Mr. LeBlanc. And so with those few words, I take this opportunity on behalf of the cabinet to present first the Caribbean Communications Company Limited, the radio broadcasting station license, 93.9, 2000 watts of power, I look forward to great programming. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. And Minister. I, I, as I'm a fan of the Caribbean Superstation, I'm a fan of JGP, I, I, I listen to the market vendor and I look forward to listening to him a lot more, sir. Thank you very much. We do appreciate this, this opportunity from CCL and the Caribbean Superstation and know that this has come true after many, many years of just waiting for the opportunity. We've found, we've had hindrances, but we've um, basically that log jam is all gone and we have the opportunity not, not only to be here in Antigua Barbuda, but also have the opportunity to open a, a small facility to enable young Antiguans to participate in what we do and also to continue with our, our main base, which will be all Caribbean content. So we thank the people and the government of Antigua Barbuda for this great opportunity for allowing us to speak a little louder on the Caribbean Superstation. Thank you. And I want to present to Mr. Jermaine Rudd, your licensor for Smash Broadcasting Limited. I know you're a DJ in your own right, an attorney. I look forward to listening to your programming. I trust it will be wholesome and you will influence the cultural and musical landscape in Antigua. Congratulations. Most definitely. I would like to just say thank you to Dr. Manso and to the government of Antigua and Barbuda. This is a company which was recently formed. We still have a lot of planning to do, but rest assured things will get done. The people of Antigua and Barbuda will hear a lot more about this sometime in the future. Thank you.